Hello everyone, I am Lasitha here. Welcome back to another energetic session of True Way International. Today's topic is Apostle Attestation. What do you mean by Apostle Attestation? How can we do it? Can it be done from here? These are the things we are going to discuss in today's video. So let's move on to the content. First of all, A P O S T I L L E. That is the correct spelling of apostle. I heard many people misspell the words like A P O S T L E, A P O S T E, L L E, etc. And also often people mispronounce the word like apostle or apostle. It is not like that. It is apostle. Apostle is not given by any embassy. Actually, the attestation is provided by Ministry of External Affairs. We can call apostle attestation as the stamping that any apostle country receives from its foreign ministry. Now you may have a doubt like what is an apostle country? There is a small historical event behind that. That is in the year of 1960, a conference was held in Hague, the administrative capital of Netherlands. In that conference, around 160 plus countries have took part and at the end they have signed a treaty. In the treaty, they are putting forward so many terms and conditions but I am not going into deep to all the terms and conditions. Today I am going to speak to you some terms and conditions that is related to Apostle. So based on that treaty, any person or any citizen who are traveling to and from this country that is this 160 countries are not in need of any embassy attestation. Instead, they can get Ministry of External Affairs attestation. That is enough for traveling to these countries. So this was the rule. So that's why all these countries were later came to be known as Apostle countries and the attestation was came to be known as Apostle attestation. See, as I told you, there are 160 plus countries. It is not easy to specify all the countries in this video, then it will be very lengthy. So I will specify some of the major countries that is India is as an apostle country, UK is there, US, then Canada, Netherlands, so how many countries were there. So most of the people are having a doubt like I want to migrate to Malaysia, then I have to do apostle or what Malaysian embassy attestation. Like that uh, the people who are migrating to Vietnam is having certain doubts, then Italy is having some doubts. So I would say for Malaysia, Italy, Vietnam and Oman, they're having specific embassies in Delhi okay so you have to do embassy attestation rather than doing a postal attestation even a postal attestation is confirmed and accepted by most of the European countries some countries are having embassies in Delhi so it's better you do embassy attestation rather than a postal but if you do the postal attestation then again you want to do embassy attestation also who does a postal the most a postal in a wide scale is done by students who are migrating to European countries countries regarding higher education. A student who wants to do degree course in an European country definitely have to attest the SSLC and plus two certificate with a postal and if that person has already done degree from India itself and want to migrate to an European country for doing any post graduation course then that person have to attest SSLC plus two and degree certificate also. Always based on the requirements of foreign university you may ask to submit your birth certificate attested with a postal even your PCC all your mark sheet etc that is always regarding the requirements of foreign university okay and in the case of medical professionals you need to attest your registration certificate as well as transcript if you want to migrate to an European country so till now I was talking about the higher education regarding a postal that is students who are going to Apostle countries in student visa. So what are the procedures they have to do? So I was talking about that. Now I am speaking to you regarding the work professionals who are migrating to European country for their work purpose. Okay. So here a person who is migrating to an European country regarding any work purpose have to attest the qualification document. That is based on what qualification I am migrating to specific country. So that qualification document I need to attest. And if you are intent to bring your spouse or children 
went to that European country, then you must attest the marriage certificate as well as the birth certificate of your kid. So that is the circumstances or instances you need to get your documents attested with apostle. Let's see the attestation procedure of apostle. That is like any other attestation procedure here also first procedure will be HRT attestation on an educational document. After that you can do apostle attestation from Ministry of External Affairs. As I told you apostle is not provided by any embassy. It is directly provided by Ministry of External Affairs. Okay. So here most of the countries will not ask for an HRD attestation on your document. So in such cases you can go for an alternative method that is STM from Delhi. After that you can directly go for a postal attestation from Ministry of External Affairs. That is also possible. So I think that is the procedure of attestation with an educational document in the case of a postal. And if in the case of a non-educational document the initial procedure will be home department attestation. Instead you can go for SDM attestation. The final procedure will be Apostle attestation from Ministry of External Affairs. So that's all with Apostle attestation and its procedure, circumstances and instances you need to get your document attested with. So I think this is a very simple and crisp topic so no need to make it very complicated or no need to speak much about this topic. I think you have understood everything regarding Apostle so never gets confused because certain countries are having some embassies in Delhi so in such cases you need to attest your document with the embassy directly but most of the European countries have accepted a postal so in such cases no need to go for any embassy attestation you can directly get your documents done with a postal okay so I think that's all with today's videos if you like this video definitely like share and comment I'm also eagerly waiting for your suggestions and definitely share this video with your friends and colleagues and Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel of Truby International and if you are watching this video without subscribing, kindly do it and tap the bell icon also for all the notifications. So I will be coming back with another energetic session in the next series. Until then stay tuned and it's me Lasida signing off. Thank you for watching.